friends, welcome to my very messy closet. So I like to joke with my husband when he sees my closet that I am a hoarder, but I actually might be. I have about 50 bags on my shelf, all of these dresses, enough shirts that I could wear a new one every single day of the year, all these t-shirts, and I don't even wear t-shirts. Every single one of these drawers stuffed to the brim, and these two tiny drawers filled with my, oh my, <laughs> unmentionables. This bra is falling apart. Why do I own it? Let's not forget about all the seasonal items that I haven't taken out of this season that are shoved under my bed. It's fine, it's fine, I'm fine. Today's video, I am going full force. I am trying to pare down my wardrobe to one, cause us anxiety when I'm trying to get dressed in the morning. Sometimes I feel like I have so much stuff that it's actually harder for me to put together an outfit because I have way too many options. No means and am I trying to be minimalistic at all. I am a total maximalist, but I just feel like I have way too much stuff and part of my heart in this sustainability practice is really trying not to consume. One thing I've noticed about thrifting, I see something that's two to five dollars and I'm like, well, it's only two to five dollars. Like, I'll just get it because it's not that much. But it's definitely weighing myself down. I feel like I spend so much time during the week washing, cleaning, folding, putting away clothes, letting them sit out, and it really starts to weigh on you after a while. Getting rid of stuff is really hard for me and I think it is for a lot of other people too. We hold so much sentimental and emotional value to these items. It reminds me of my own sort of past lives that I've had in them and where I've worn them, where I thrifted them, and also because they are thrifted or vintage items, it's like I want to keep the clothes going for the person that donated them. Is that weird? It's probably weird. I almost think of clothes as being animate objects and actually having lives themselves and I, I feel guilty getting rid of them, but I know I have to do it. And to hold myself accountable, I put together a list of criteria each piece of my wardrobe must meet in order for it to stay. One, is it comfortable? As I've gotten older, the comfort factor is much more important to me. Whether it be fit or material, it's gotta be comfortable, otherwise I just don't reach for it when getting dressed. I have been the queen in the past of buying items just because they're unique or maybe they're just a little too small and I think I will somehow fit in them one day knowing full and well that I most likely will never wear them. So it has to be comfortable for me to keep it. Two, do I get enough wear out of it? Now, this one's a little bit harder for me because I do have a very large maximalist wardrobe that's not changing anytime soon. So in reality, many of the items in my closet are getting worn seasonally or maybe five or so times a year. But don't get me wrong, I have many items that have only been worn one or two times that have got to go. As I get rid of items and have less in my wardrobe, I hope to get more wear from the remaining items in my closet, thus creating a more sustainable closet. I mean, this is just too good to give up. Three, does it fit my current personal style and lifestyle? I find a lot of times I've been justifying buying items by telling myself I will wear it to some sort of fictional event or straight up making up a scenario in which I could wear the piece. This is also something I want to be more aware of going forward when adding any new items into my wardrobe to put a stop to buying items I don't even like or wear. So if a piece does not fit my current style or lifestyle, then it is gone. Four, is it a quality item? Does it need to be mended? Does it need to be altered? Something I've learned in the past few years of thrifting is that fit is so important, probably more important than any other aspect of the item. I've fallen into the habit of keeping items even if the fit is off because I like another part of it like the color or design, but I've found when something fits really well is when you feel the most confident in it and you'll keep going back to it again and again. If fit isn't good and I'm not going to take the time to mend or get it altered, 
which let's be honest, I've gotten like three things altered in my life, then it's not staying. So that is my criteria that the pieces in my closet must meet in order for them to stay. Now let's jump into getting rid of all of this shit. So I have this clothing rack here and I will be taking everything out of my wardrobe, hanging it up on this rack and then deciding if I want to donate, sell or keep it. The only time I will throw things away is if it is totally not usable or if it's something like underwear or bras or something because nobody wants that. of the same pair of pants so I think I'm definitely gonna keep two and get rid of two these are brand new so I'm gonna keep these these are some incredible 70s high waist pants and they have this really cool stitching on the pocket so I think I'm gonna keep these and these two are just kind of 70s knit pants do I really need them no <laughs> And I've been telling myself forever, oh, I could do a DIY on this one and just wear this one like plain. Wait, now I, I really want to do a DIY on this. I really should probably get rid of one of these. I'm saving this for later because I, it's making me too emotional right now. <laughs> jacket it's a Marc Jacobs quilted jacket with this really incredible print on there I love the colors but I've only worn it one time and if you guys didn't know I work from home so a lot of the time I'm not getting dressed dressed every day I'm wearing like jeans and a t-shirt or sweatpants or yoga pants or something so I don't know like I love this jacket but I never wear it so I think this might be a sell. It's so gorgeous though. This is a blazer that I really like. It's linen, I thrifted it, but I think I've never worn it because every time I look at it, I think, God, that's gonna take a really long time to iron this. polyester jacket this was totally college tailor I loved anything 70s I would buy all of the 70s polyester and I mean it is still fabulous but I also haven't worn it in so long this is the type of stuff that it's so hard for me to get rid of like I'm imagining wearing it and styling it but I just have too many clothes in my closet to possibly justify keeping it this one is so hard for me to make a decision on because this is what I did my senior, actually my junior recital in. Fun fact, I have my bachelor's degree in trombone performance. I will insert a photo of me here wearing this dress at my junior recital. This dress has a lot of sentimental value. How do I get rid of this when it has so much sentimental value to me? I think I might have to keep it. While we're here, might as well try on my senior recital dress. Vintage, I think probably 50s velvet, like crimson dress. And my mom actually made this belt to go with it, but it was so gorgeous too. Why do I own so many plaid blazers? At the end of the day, I only have one body and I'm really only wearing a few of these every year, so it's time to get rid of some of them. We are now moving on to my drawers because I cannot spend another minute inside my closet. It's looking pretty good though, I will say. We still have to hit up the dresses and some of the pants and jackets and 
shoes and we still have a lot to do. But I wanna tackle these drawers first and clean these out. So I have my denim in here and then more like loungewear t-shirts. Don't ask me why I have like literally three different spots for all of my loungewear. I just have too much. And then I also have my bras, underwear, socks in here, which we will not be going through, but I will be getting rid of some stuff because I think I have bras in there that I haven't worn since high school. Let's start in this drawer and see what we can find. Right, I've actually pulled out everything that was in this drawer too, just so I could see everything laid out and it, it is quite a lot. I think I'm just gonna quickly go through them and just say like, yes, no, yes, no. First I have these Wrangler shorts and I do really like them, but I also have these Levi's shorts and they're pretty much the same. This one's a little bit darker, but I always wear these before I wear these Wrangler. So I think I'm gonna get rid of those. two pairs of these light wash vintage jeans and I tried them both on and I just think I really like the fit of this one a little bit more. It reminds me more of that like dad jean style. So they're both a little bit baggy, but this one just seems to fit a little bit better. So I'm gonna keep those and get rid of these. Can't believe I'm getting rid of a pair of my vintage Levi's, but I just don't wear them. They're not comfortable. They give me a camel toe, bye. I think it's six pairs total, so I think that's pretty good. And I am keeping all of these. These are shorts and pants, so I feel pretty good about this. Really worried about tackling all of this because there's a lot of shit in here. I could never give up my B. Jones style always play dress up tee. It's one of my favorite tees. I will link it down below for you because I love supporting my other thrifty women. And honestly, this is one of my favorite t-shirts to style up. It's super soft and definitely has a vintage feel to it. So this will definitely be staying. that I thrifted in here. So many that I've never worn. This is one of my favorite tees. It's a little vintage jazz festival tee. I love the black. I love the pink against it. It's super, super worn in. So honestly, I'm like, do I really need any other black graphic tees? Cause this is my favorite one that I always wear. Obviously I have to keep my Gucci tee. I'd say that is a definite improvement from my crammed in drawer. I got rid of probably at least 10 t-shirts and leggings and I'm feeling pretty good about that. Time to tackle this part of my wardrobe where I have all of my dresses and sort of longer skirts, some um, pants and jackets here. So I'm gonna just start by hauling this stuff off to my rack and let's hope I can get all of this. <laughs> So here's about half of my dress collection. I love wearing dresses because they're just really easy to throw on, but sometimes that means they don't always get worn because instead of wearing multiple pieces like pants and a jacket and a top, you're just wearing one dress. So I need it to be like the perfect dress in order for me to keep it and we'll see which ones make it. I loved 
this dress. It's a little Ralph Lauren dress that has this cute little dainty ruffle detail here along the top, but I only wore it like one time last year. I felt like in order for it to be really what I was going for, it needed to be hemmed a little bit, like right there. And to be honest, I'm never gonna take it to get hemmed. I'm probably not going to hem it myself because I just don't have the time and I don't really feel like it's worth it. So I think I'm gonna have to get rid of this one. This is one of my favorite pieces ever. I thrifted it from, actually I guess it was more like a vintage store in Paris on our honeymoon. And I just love the brand that it's in French, Jacques Mercier. And it was made in Paris. It's just one of those pieces I don't know if I'll ever get rid of because it's so beautiful. Where am I ever gonna wear this? I mean, these are the type of pieces that I swear, like I just keep in my closet to look at and that's not a good reason to keep something. You really need to wear it and actually get some use out of it. So it pains me to donate this, but I just don't see where I'm ever going to wear it. This is a vintage dress that was actually hemmed to be high-low and I hate that part of it. So I'm not sure why I got it, but I will say I love the top part of it. It's like a peasant style top and then it has like all these orange, you know, colors and it kind of has this drop back. So what if I like cut this and then like tucked it into um, some jeans? Like I feel like that could be a way to kind of revive this and maybe get a little bit more use out of it. And maybe it will stay in my closet for a little bit longer. <laughs> collection and honestly I don't really have a shoe problem. I don't have as many shoes as you would think I would have looking at the rest of my closet so I don't know if I'm going to get rid of that many but I'm definitely going to weed out the ones that I haven't worn in a while or are just kind of gross now and need to be retired. <laughs> for eight years. I got them my freshman year of college and I have now been out of college for four years. So I think it might be time to get rid of these and if I'm really itching to wear Converse anytime soon, then I should just buy a new pair because these are gross. Welcome to day two of my closet clean out. That's right, I have so much shit that I actually had to do this over a two day period. I still have to go through all of these items up here, t-shirts, loungewear, workout wear. We also still need to tackle my bags back here on this rack. I also need to go through my unmentionables, which we will not be going through together because there are a lot of creepy people on the internet and I don't need them knowing what my underwear looks like. Again, I have my piles over here I'm creating. These are keep. This is sell and this is donate over here. So this is a vintage t-shirt that just says Lazy Guys Club. It has Vegas and it kind of has these athletic stripes here. And I thrifted it and it's so hard for me to get rid of thrifted vintage tees because they're actually pretty hard to come by in the thrift store. Legitimate vintage ones. This one is probably from the 70s or 80s. So while I don't wear it at all, it's just one of those things that you feel like accomplished and proud that you actually found one but I know I'm never gonna wear it. So I think this is a great candidate to sell at Buffalo Exchange because they love vintage tees. So I think this is going into my sell pile. my 
favorite thrift finds ever and I love it because it's really basic. It's a designer item, it's from YSL. And it's just like cotton tee, but it's super soft and stretchy. And it just has, you know, the YSL logo up there. And I love it because it goes with everything. And when you wanna wear a white tee, but you kinda wanna spice it up a little bit, this is the perfect option. And I'm really happy that I'm now rediscovering it, like shoved beneath all of the t-shirts I have. disappointed in myself that I couldn't get rid of as much stuff as I wanted to but I have one two three four piles that I will be donating and selling and now I'm going to attempt to organize my pile will literally not stay up whatever I'm going to attempt to organize these and put them back on the shelf all right I feel pretty good about this I got rid of quite a lot of things, probably at least like 20 things out of here. So it definitely feels less crowded, even though there is still, you know, quite a lot of stuff in here. I have organized it into graphic tees, lounge kind of tees, some workout wear. These are all my like sweatshirts and sweatpants and pajama pants down here. It's not perfect, but it definitely looks a lot better. Welcome to my bag rack portion of my closet. And I will tell you, this is a vast improvement from last year around this time. I did a big closet clean out last year and I probably got rid of like half my bags. And I really haven't purchased that many since then because I fully realized how bad my bag addiction was. So I'm gonna quickly go through all of these, reorganize this so it is a little bit more I don't know, makes sense right now. I just have them all kind of shoved in there as best as I can. <laughs> this little vintage bag. I have some fanny, why do I, why? Fanny packs, other little vintage bags. I got rid of eight bags. I feel like that's, you know, for me, that's pretty good. We have finally reached the final thing I have to go through like seven hours later. Two dry bags that have been shoved under my bed. These are more my seasonal stuff. And if you can see in here, it's a lot of winter things. Some of them are just things that I have wanted to get rid of and just haven't been able to bring myself to. So now is the time, honey. We are getting rid of those things. They are gone. And hopefully we can maybe consolidate this into one dry and ass bag instead of two. first designer find ever. They are a like super beat up discolored pair of Gucci loafers that I literally had to like butter my foot into to like get them in there. Let's see. It's definitely like one of those shoes that you need to be sitting at your desk all day, you know, not walking because your foot is like a little sausage in there. But now I have them on, I'm like, damn girl, these are kind of cute in such bad condition. If they were in better condition, I would keep them. This is my sell slash donate pile. This is the pile of items I am keeping. This is probably a good 20 items here at least. Let's not even look at all of this over here that I'm getting rid of. 
And that is a wrap of everything I am getting rid of. Can you believe I had 12 trash bags of stuff just waiting to be purged from my closet? Because I am actually in shock right now. Here is the finished product of my new and improved closet. I know it looks pretty packed, but this is a vast improvement from before and I definitely feel like things are refreshed and I can actually find things in my wardrobe now. I feel inspired to create looks around these pieces that I've had for a while and give them some new life. If this closet clean out has taught me anything, it's that I need to purge more and buy less. Part of the sustainability practice is definitely wearing stuff that you already have and making it a lifelong use. While I love thrifting and will always preach buying secondhand, I also think that I need to be a little bit more conscious of what I'm actually buying solely for the space of my closet and what I will end up getting rid of. This ended up being around 300 items, which was roughly about a quarter of my wardrobe. So we are in the finished product of my closet and I can honestly say it feels like a weight has been lifted off of me. I mean, 12 trash bags is so excessive and it, I feel guilty about it, but I also feel like I need to pat myself on the back for going through with this. It was a major challenge to take on, but it was definitely a lesson learned. Going forward, I'm really going to try to think about every single thing that I'm purchasing. I need to learn to just say no to those things that I don't absolutely love because they end up collecting dust. They end up weighing on my life, whether that be time or emotion. This clean out was not meant for me to just purge in hopes of replenishing my wardrobe. I really want to continue on with this practice and really make smart decisions when I'm purchasing new things. So that concludes my closet clean out. It was a long two days. Thanks for sticking with me. I hope it was enjoyable for you guys to watch and to get inspired to do the same in your wardrobe and maybe make that little change in your life when you are thrifting or buying new things and just to think a little bit more consciously about how these things are going to impact your life and the environment. If you don't already please comment like subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram to see how i style up all of my thrifty finds and until next time bye